three, two, one. one and we zero. have liftoff. Rockets, spacesuits, submarines. Founded in 1966, Barbara Nichols in Arvada designs and manufactures turbo machine systems for NASA, the military, and more. They're changing the world right here in our own backyard. I'm Arvada Mayor Mark Williams. I'm joined today by Matt Malone, who's the general manager here at Barber Nichols, a great company not just for Arvada, but for the nation. A company that was just named by the Arvada Chamber of Commerce as Business of the Year. Matt, congratulations for that. How's it make you feel? Thank you so much, Mayor Williams. My name is Matt Malone, as mentioned. It makes me feel amazing because we're right here in the place where it all happens. There's so much amazing work from torpedo systems to space systems to advanced energy that's re really revolutionizing the entire atmosphere. You know, what's one of the neat things about getting to do uh, things like this and coming out and seeing businesses here in Arvada? You're hidden jewels. When did Barbara Nichols start? Barbara Nichols started with two amazing engineers, Ken Nichols and Bob Barber in 1966. And what's really neat about it is seeing the new generation of people carry on that same legacy with the same foundational principles. And one of my favorite things, just to touch on it a little bit, is we've really focused on getting people aligned with their passions. And so you'll see right here on the shop floor, these people are operating these incredibly complex machines to produce some of the world's hardest hardware. And so it's really a combination of aligning everyone's number one strength to the business. One of the really cool systems that we, that we work on is a rocket launching system. And so this is actually the fuel delivery system for a rocket that launches off the side of a 747 that propels satellites to space. And those satellites could be used for geography research, they could be used for thermal mapping, they could be used for internet deployability across the country. And so there's a lot of unique, applic unique applications. And you also make components for the space industry. Correct. Um, starting back as long as history prevails itself, uh, there's a lot of space components that have come out of Bar Barbara Nichols. Some of the early Falcon 9 units uh, that actually propelled SpaceX to what it is today have come out of Barbara Nichols. We're also developing the NASA backpack, which is for the future astronauts. Um, we make the actual oxygen pump that goes inside that backpack that deploys oxygen through that whole system. You've had such a success here at Barbara Nichols that you had to expand. I loved being here first for the groundbreaking and then for the ribbon cutting of this expansion project. Talk to us about that project. Yeah, the project starts from you got to have a vision and then you got to figure out how to make the vision reality. That vision started with every spot in our entire shop was completely filled. And what we realized was space was the next thing that we had to go pursue, not space space, but actual physical space. And so we started working with the uh, with Arvada in Jefferson County on actually rezoning and getting this land ready. And what we've continued to do is emphasize growth in areas that will fuel, fuel our future business. So the machine shop was the first example of that. Now we're actually working on deploying that same methodology to clean rooms, test facilities, to support the back end of the businesses, which is really where these complex systems are tested and demonstrated deployable to a mission critical system. Now, I, as I took a tour of this during construction, I was informed that, first of all, you've got very sophisticated equipment that really has to be calibrated, calibrated correctly, and therefore the floor had to be special. Tell yeah. us about that floor. Yeah, there's a few really unique things, the floor being one of them. The first one I want to touch on, though, is actually the AC unit. Right. So the whole entire facility is controlled to plus or minus a degree at any time. And the reason for that is we can measure and inspect parts real time in the facility and you can see there's no walls. And so the inspection is ongoing real time with the machinists. Also, with having down to millionths of an inch tolerances, you don't have to make any temperature uh, corrections to the machines, which is a huge advantage uh, to our producibility. With that being said, you also talked about the structural floor. What that allows is vibration isolation through the entire facility. And so you can drop in place large machines wherever is desired to ensure that you can have a cellular flow in the shop. Not only do you build incredible components here in your facility, but you're also building minds and bodies. Tell us a little bit about your mentorship program. Yeah, the people are number one at Barbara Nichols. And so if you're not developing the people, you've got nothing. 
And so with the mentorship program, it's kind of twofold. So one, we're working with some of the local community colleges to develop an actual formal apprenticeship program that will mostly service immediately the uh, machinist population, which is a dwindling talent in the area. So we're working to really stimulate that with folks like Front Range Community College and or Red Rocks. On the engineering side, we've actually started a pretty sizable internship program and co-op program with our first successful co-op actually coming on two weeks ago as a full-time engineer. And so really nurturing it from the grassroots up, even in a small business, has been foundational for our people's growth. And you also have a tradition here at Barber Nichols of caring about the community. And you've got a group within your employees that really specializes in that. Tell us about that. Yeah, and the cool thing about that is you're only as good as every employee. And so we have 170 employees, which has obviously grown quite a bit in the community year over year, provided amazing jobs for that population of people. We've adopted the street outside of Barbara Nichols, which has been really exciting. We actually get to clean up the neighborhood in which we live. We get into schools and talk about uh, science, technology, engineering, um, and math with our local community. Um, we've given back to First Tree. We've designed and developed a gym on facility to ensure healthy habits. Um, so it's an all-inclusive approach, but it really takes every employee. You know, that carries on the tradition of, of Ken and Bob. In my chats with Bob Barber over the years, he used to brag about the Stanley Steamer, which I understand he used to drive here to work. And now you've got EV stations for cars. What a transformation. Yeah, and it's really cool because the Stanley Steamer is still state of the art. It's one of the fastest vehicles that's ever been driven on steam, and that's why it's in the Guinness Book of World Records. But it's cool to see the new generation bringing technology, not only in the business that's deployable to our customers, but also that our actual employees can use. And so one of our employees, Tom Doyle, actually brought in a grant to have those EV chargers brought to Barbara Nichols. We started off with three people charging, and now we're up to seven and you see the transition happening day over day. You've made it very special. You're the epitome of a great corporate citizen that's very successful, that's creating lots of primary jobs, that's making things better for our community, our safety of our nation, but you also care about your street out front and your citizens, the, the students, everyone around you, your employees, you've made it very special. Thank you for what you do. Thank you. And it's not just me, it's the entire employee base. Barbara Nichols is represented by 170 amazing employees.